Welcome back, Pain Center family and friends. Welcome to your next edition of Brain Fitness. Let's get started. From a nice, comfortable seated position, we will do our brain integration exercises. So let's start off with our right hand out flat and let's make circles in towards the body. So making those circles in towards the body, let's put our left hand out nice and flat and then we're gonna make a line. So make a line with the left hand, not a circle like I did, a line with the left hand and circles with the right. Not easy. Try to get a rhythm there and maybe watch your hands. That might help. Uh, all right, pause. Now with our right hand, we're gonna make the line. And with our left hand, we'll make the circles. Let's see if we can't get this going again. This is a tricky one. Got it? There you go. Okay. We're going to do one more brain integration exercise. For this one, I want you to take your pointer finger, point, and make some circles. Make those circles with your pointer finger. Get your left hand and put that pointer out. Let's go up and down, up and down. So right is making circles and left is supposed to be going up and down, which is a bit challenging. Okay, and now let's switch. So with our left hand, we'll make those circles drawing a circle with our pointer and with our right hand we're going to draw the line up and down that is a little tricky but it is a good brain integration exercise okay thank you for joining me let's get started with the rest of our class so think fast brain workout thinking fast to finish the line so I'm going to say the first half of a very common phrase and you will supply the second half. The breakfast of, these are advertising slogans, so if you think way back, this was the breakfast of champions. I think it was Wheaties, but maybe you recall and you could let me know later. How about let your fingers do, let your fingers do, this was I think an advertising advertisement for the Yellow Pages which we don't even use anymore, really. Let your fingers do the walking. Only you can prevent, only you can prevent. Think about National Forest. Um, I think there was a bear involved in this advertising slogan. Only you can prevent forest fires. The paws that, the paws that, refreshes. That was Coca-Cola, soda, Pepsi something. You'll have to let me know later. How about reach out and reach out and touch. Of course, right now we're not supposed to be doing that so much, but reach out and touch someone. A mind is a terrible thing. This was a, I think for a slogan for a college fund. A mind is a terrible thing to, to waste, and it is. Oh, my favorite. Good to the last, and it is good to the last drop. Good to the last drop, and that was for coffee. Okay, W's, W's everywhere. These words are gonna begin with a W or end with a W. It's all about the W. There's a W somewhere going on with these words. So I'm gonna give you a definition and then just remember that the answer is going to begin or end with a W. Juicy pink fruit that we love to eat in the summer. It has little seeds in it. Those can be pesky, but it is really good. And I know some people put salt on it, which I don't recommend. It's good, you don't need to add anything to it. It's a pink fruit that we eat in the summer. Watermelon, so there's that W. So remember, all the answers are gonna have a W at the beginning or at the end. A small, slender mammal, could be that, or it could also describe a deceitful, treacherous person. We don't know any of those, but a small, Slender mammal, could be that, or a deceitful, treacherous person. I'll give you a clue. This answer starts with a W. So did you get it? A weasel, a weasel. 
the color of the sunshine, and daffodils, and a lot of other things too. And um, remember, it either begins with a W or ends with a W. And this is a color word, and of course it's yellow, and there's that W. Not deep. So this could be like in a swimming pool, there's two ends, and we usually tell the little people to stay in the shallow end, and there's our W. Usually glass is an opening in a dwelling that allows light in. So this is an opening like in your house, and light can come through. Of course, these are in cars too, and, and light shines through, and it begins with the letter W. It's a window, right? It's a window. So the opposite of tame, the opposite of tame, and I'll tell you that uh, it begins with or ends with the letter W. So this is not a tame person. Your teenagers may have been this. Wild. You can find a pot of gold at the end of this. It's this arch of color. And it ends with the letter W. You can find a pot of gold at the end of this. Rainbow. Rainbow. Mental math. So let's take a couple of deep breaths and then we'll move on to mental math. So. Feels good, let's do two more. Nice, let's do one more. Good job, thank you. So it's good to remember that if you ever get frustrated or start to feel overwhelmed or aggravated, you can always just take a couple breaths and it is like a little miracle. It can help you feel better just right away. So deep breathing. Mental math. Find the missing number to solve the equation. 12 plus what equals 21? Now remember, you can always pause your screen and work out this math if you want a little more time. 12 plus what equals 21? 12 plus 9 equals 21. 15 minus what number equals 8? 7. 15 minus 7 equals 8. Now we're on to division. 24 divided by what number equals 4? 24 divided by what number equals 4? How about 6? 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Now we're on multiplication. 16 times what number equals 32? So 16 times what gives you 32? 16 times 2? We're back to addition. 44 plus what number equals 66? 22. Okay, so this is rhyme time. So we're moving away from math and we're going into rhyme time. We've done these before. Um, they really cause you to pause and think. So we'll work through them together step by step. So for example, if you see fun 24 hours, you're going to decipher this into two rhyming words. So let's do this together. 24 hours equals a day. So that's one word. Fun. Something that equals fun 24 hours. So it's a day. We know that's a day. And the answer is play day. And the reason it's play day is because the 24 hours equals a day. Now we needed to have two rhyming words here. So we had to think of a word that rhymed with day that had something to do with fun. Play day. Let's do it again. Like I said, we'll work them out together just to kind of stretch the brain. Okay. Missing color. So this is uh, having to do with missing color. Um, so let's think about colors. Let's think about missing. So a color would be red, blue, yellow, but I don't think of black really as a color and white maybe not so much a color either in terms of the vibrancy, but so it's, let's go with 
let's say let's call this black and see if we can find a, a word that might mean missing that rhymes with black so black and what's missing how about black black now that was a big stretch and some of you may have gotten that and for me i had to really really look at it um, to come up with that short poem short poem so another word for short we could start there or we could look at poem and come up with something in a poem so poems have lines they also have verses verse we use verse here what's another warm word for short that rhymes with verse how about terse verse it's a little tricky so for this next rhyme time activity we have a gymnastics group so what's another word for group how about team a gymnastics team right so we need a a word that rhymes with team that has to do with gymnastics so gymnastics they have these um, things that they walk on start with a b it's called a beam how about beam team so I know these are challenging and they really stretch your brain and cause you those aha moments, but it's a great way to allow the brain to really stretch. So name the state. Name the state where you would find these three cities. And so of course, if we name your home state, you can give out a big woo yahoo for your state. So let's see what we have. Tampa, Miami, and Jacksonville. This is my home state of Florida, woohoo. How about Fargo, Bismarck, and Grand Forks? Is this your home state? Fargo, Bismarck, and Grand Forks? North Dakota, I wonder if it is because I've never met um, anybody in our center from North Dakota. So if you are, make sure you let me know that. Name the states, Wichita, Parsons, and Topeka. Is this your state? Kansas, Las Vegas, Reno, and Carson City, Nevada. Okay, time for some more mental math. Three times eight. What is three times eight? Remember, you can always pause your screen if you'd like a little more time, and that's perfectly fine. So three times eight, 24. How about 14 plus 15? 14 plus 15, what do you got? How about 29? And 20 times five, 20 times five, 100. How about 55 plus 31? 55 and 31, 86. And 16 times two, 32. And now we're ready for our Rebus puzzles. So remember, these puzzles are pictures that represent uh, usually very common phrases. And sometimes you have to really think logically um, and we'll do these together. So weather bit. So you have the word weather up here and under the word weather, you have the word bit. Give you a second to look at that. Weather and underneath it is bit. How about a bit under the weather. Your ball court. All smushed in together. Your ball court. The ball is in your court. MCE, MCE, MCE. Something is missing from these three words, but it's really all the same word, and it's there three times, and one of the vowels is missing right here. Let's say that's the letter I. So you have the word mice, and you have it three times, but the I is gone. The I is gone, so you have three blind mice. Good job. Thank you for joining us for Brain Fitness. I hope you continue to work out your body and your brain. Thank you.